Oh, love, I feel for you. You're dealing with menstrual cramps and PMS. Oh, my heart is with you. And EFT tapping, what we're the technique we're going to use in this session, is going to really help you uh, release these, uh, yeah, what it is that's going on in your body. So doesn't matter if you've never done EFT before, we're gonna do it together. And just before we get started, I would really appreciate it if you could just like this video, subscribe to my channel. There's over a hundred other free tapping sessions here. It lets you see more of this content and it helps other people see it too. So when you're ready, taking a deep breath into your belly, exhaling with a sigh. And we're gonna start off by saying, my belly really hurts. I do not like these cramps. It really, really, really hurts. Tapping between the eyebrows. I am being loving and compassionate with myself as my body prepares to bleed. Tapping to the sides of the eyes. It really, really hurts. Tapping under the eyes. And I am giving love to my body, to my womb. And I am being gentle and loving with myself as these cramps move through my body. Deep breath. <sighs> Tapping under the nose. It really hurts tapping under the lips. And I prefer to distract myself from the pain. But it's so intense. To the chest. The pain is so intense. And even though I don't like the pain, I'm open to the possibility of being really gentle and loving with my womb. Deep breath. <sighs> Tap into the front of the ribs. Because distracting myself and trying to numb it out has not been working. So I'm open to being really present and staying connected to the symptoms to the sensations in my body and being really gentle and loving with my uterus. Deep breath. <sighs> Having to the side of the body. It's possible for me to give myself all the love I need Tapping to the wrist. And even though I'm being really hard on myself, and the PMS makes this time a nightmare, it's possible for me to soften into my body now. Deep breath. <sighs> even though it's uncomfortable to be in my body, Trying to escape the sensations hasn't been working. The side of the hand. And it's possible that being fully present with my womb, with the sensations of my period, it's possible for me to relax. and give myself the tenderness and love that I need. Deep breath. And then I'd like you to imagine sighing out from your womb. <sighs> Tapping up to the top of the head. I love and I'm grateful for myself. Tapping between the eyebrows. And I'm letting myself rest now into the sides of the eyes. It's possible that at this point in my cycle, what I really need is rest. Tapping under the eyes. And I'm learning how to take really good care of myself. 
Dabbing under the nose. I'm learning how to take care of my body at this point in my cycle. Deep breath. <sighs> Dabbing under the lips. And even though the world wants me to go, 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 I'm open to the possibility of stopping and resting. Deep breath. Now I know this can be really intense and you might feel a lot of emotions or energy moving in your body. Please stay with me. I promise you it's going to start feeling better. Take, tap into your chest and repeating back after me. Even though I don't feel like I've got time to rest and I am so used to being busy and working, I'm choosing to listen to my body, to respect my inner cycle, and allowing myself to rest to the front of the ribs. Deep breath. <sighs> I'm in the winter of my menstrual cycle. So I just want to explain that for a moment for those that don't know. If you think about your menstrual cycle as the seasons of the year. So at the moment you're in winter, it's when the leaves fall off the tree and everything goes into stillness. And eventually you're going to come into spring where the leaves appear and everything starts to slowly emerge. And then you're in summer in full bloom and ovulation time where you feel really excited and energized to go out into the world and then we go into fall or autumn where we have an abundant harvest but then things slowly start to go towards decay and then in winter everything it's it's the period of uh, of rest essentially if you think about it as the seasons so let's say i am choosing to let myself rest to the side of the body. I'm letting myself rest now. I'm letting my body relax. Deep breath. <sighs> it's safe for me to be present with the sensations in my body. To the wrist. I'm letting myself be present with the sensations in my body even when they're really intense. And I'm giving myself love and compassion. Deep breath. <sighs> now at the end of this video, I'm gonna link another one on empathy, which would actually be really good for you to do. Learn how to give yourself empathy at this time when you're bleeding or just before you bleed when you're in your luteal phase. Another deep breath. <sighs> it's happening to the back side of the hand, repeating back after me. I love and accept myself even when I'm in my winter phase. Even when I'm resting, I am worthy of my love. Let's say that 20 more times. Even when I'm resting, I am worthy of love. Do my eyebrows. I am allowed to rest now. The side of the eyes. I am learning to rest and to listen to my body. Deep breath. <sighs> Under the eyes. It's possible that all the wisdom I need is inside of my body. To the nose. I am choosing to trust my body's wisdom. To the lips. I am listening to my body. Chest. I love and respect myself. And I'm letting my body relax just 20% more. Deep breath. <sighs> Front of the ribs. And I'm learning how to love myself even when it's hard. Side of the ribs are almost done. I'm learning to love myself even when it's really hard. Because these are the moments when I need my love the most. Deep breath. <sighs> Beautiful, tapping down the arms, down your chest, down your legs. 
Ah, amazing. How was this video for you? Please drop me a little comment down below. It means so much to me, even just a couple of little emojis to let me know how this video was. If you didn't already, please like this video, subscribe to my channel, join my five day free tapping challenge. And I also guide people in deeply transformative one-on-one -on -one sessions so we can get to the root cause of why it is that you have um, a menstrual I'm going to use the word disorder, although I don't really like that word, um, PCOS or PMDD, uh, all of these things, I believe that they've got their roots earlier in different parts of your life. So if you're interested in looking at the um, more psychological, spiritual, emotional element of that, and to really transmute it, to let go of it on a um, somatic and subconscious level, then I am your woman. So let, uh, let me know um, all the information is down below. And until next time, know that every single part of you is worthy of love.